go. Question number one is, what dance move was in style when you were in high school? I can't do it right, but like, it's supposed to be a sprinkler. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> okay. Question number two. What's your favorite childhood memory? Oh, my favorite childhood memory is um, probably my dad falling off of the dock in Key West. Uh, we had a dock and, and the water's low, so it would be very murky and, and you'd see crabs. So we would look over there to watch the crabs crawl in their little holes. And my dad fell over the railing at some point and his head went in the muck and we'd always laugh because he'd tell us that he saw little crabs going around his head while he was there. That's probably one of my favorite childhood memories is dad falling into the muck head first. That's fun. Do you remember your childhood phone number? No, not at all. Not even an address from childhood. I, I cut that right on out. No, I don't. What sports did you play growing up? Oh my goodness, tag was a big one. We were homeschooled. We is didn't that, have is that a sport. <laughs> it is now. It, maybe parkour. Maybe before parkour was a thing. My brother and I. He had chased me trying to kill me because we had sibling rivalry. So let's say parkour. Soccer, soccer, and re in reality, soccer. What position? No position. We just kicked the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you lived? Florida, all my life. All you like nowhere else? Yeah, Key West, uh, Ponce de Leon, uh, Bruce, Florida, Defuniac Springs, and Niceville. All around this area. What's your favorite way to spend a Sunday? Oh, my favorite way to spend a Sunday is uh, after church to come home, after, go eat with the group, and then come back home and just take a couch nap while something's playing on TV and slowly wake up and start watching whatever is on by that time. And then, uh, yeah, just going about the day, just having a lazy Sunday. I enjoy it. What did you do before getting into real estate? Ooh, I had land surveyed before. I was a land surveying crew chief. And uh, after that, just before real estate, I worked in the hotel business. I, was a, I would manage hotels and uh, I was a senior front desk agent and uh, a GCI, which is a guest, uh, guest concierge. Some, something like a guest experience manager. I would manage the guest experience. I would make sure that all of our employees were aware of how to better the guest experience at Holiday Inn Express of all places. Did you do pool cleaning? Yeah, too? yeah. I got a job right away when I moved to Tallahassee. I was so worried I wouldn't have a job because I just moved there on the fly for love. And uh, I cleaned the governor's pool and they interviewed me. They said, "Can you? do you have a clean background? I said, absolutely. I don't even have a ticket. They're like, Really though, do you have a clean background? Well, for no, well, no. And the Secret Service like gave me a background check, and because I had a clean background, I was able to clean the governor's pool. So the Secret Service would check me in each time I would go to clean the pool every week. What's the most challenging experience you've had? Getting into real estate business, I thought this would be easy. Even though I, I said, I know this isn't gonna be easy in the interview. And I truly believe that. I truly believe what I said, but the challenges of getting started were much deeper. I didn't realize that I would rely so much on my friends and family to, to mention my name and refer me and those I work with to, to bring my name up and um, to help me generate my business I thought it was something I could pay for ads and that would give me enough business to keep rolling along business would just come and as I'd grow in my funds I could just spend more money and get more advertising and build my business but so much of it is word of mouth and your reputation so I'm glad I was very careful in the beginning but uh, yeah the real estate business is it has been the most challenging thing for me but I love it All right, next question is gonna be what's your most treasured possession I'll show it to you this stupid thing from my childhood. I keep it in my office. This is the dumbest thing. This I got this when I was four years old. It was income tax time. We didn't have a ton of money in Key West. And my dad said, okay, we're going to take you to Kmart. You pick out one thing. So I picked out a, bo a bottle of slime. And then I picked out this. And I was like, oh, I don't know which one. They were equal value to me. And I was like four years old. So we went round and round. I was like, okay, yeah, I really want this. And we'd go on road trips. And I'd put it on the cooler in the back seat. And I'd do this. And everybody would look in the window like, what is going on? Because all they see is something big wagging in the window so yeah my most treasured possession is this this uh baby Sinclair doll from the show dinosaurs we've already broken the third wall so all right last question here is gonna be what languages do you speak oh get ready 
English. Woo! English, yep, that's it. That's it, Southern. I speak a little Southern English as well. Can you give me a sample of some Southern? Y'all, y'all come on down and have some biscuits with us. <laughs> y'all bring the family on down for some biscuits now, yeah, all right? <laughs> Something else Paula Dean would say. That's it. Yeah. We made it.